The only thing Halloween that's relevant on November 2nd is thinking of all the awesome costumes you could have had that you didn't and will remember, definitely remember, for next year. I probably could have had a really awesome costume this year, but instead my, my, my timeline kind of went like, Oh, I don't know. Oh, that might be cool. That could be cool. Oh my goodness. We're getting closer and closer. It's, I don't know what to, I have so much work to do. I haven't done any of my work. Oh my goodness. It's actually Halloween and I don't have a costume. So what I did was I grabbed my costume that I bought five years ago, which amazingly still fits me because I've grown like zero percent since then. Um, and here it is. I'm not entirely sure if you can see my hat, um, but it gives a great clue as to what I am. And now I'm not in focus, but I'm Luigi. Bought this costume five years ago, and it's still super big on me. Um, and it's really nice because you can just like layer up underneath it. It's it's basic. It's just it's my backup costume. It's amazing. I wore it to Tessa Violet's show that she had to uh, last week. Uh, she went as Mugatu, and that was fun. Um, and I wore this, and then I wore it again on Halloween night because I was selling hot chocolate and apple cider, except the weather was horrible, and so we called it quits after like an hour when we sold three. Um, that wasn't very fun. <laughs> My neighborhood doesn't actually have trick-or-treating on Halloween. Um, they what, what they do is, if it's on Halloween and it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, have it on Halloween. But if Halloween falls on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, we just keep doing it on the Thursday prior to Halloween because safety is my township's number one priority. What kids being safe? I don't even... We actually ran out of candy this year, which was a first, I think, in quite a few years, but we also gave out king size bars. My parents refused to, to give out anything other than king size bars, so children always come to our house and make sure they can try to come back too. Other than that, we don't really have any traditions as a family for Halloween, um, but when I was in second grade, our house caught on fire on <laughs> Halloween night, like late ha on Halloween night. Um, so typically, when Halloween rolls around, we crack jokes about our house catching on fire, which is really like morbid and sad, but like, <laughs> it would, it's just, I don't even, uh, my family's kind of strange. I actually have some pictures from Halloween night. Here's one with me and my friend Margo on the way to selling hot chocolate. And here is one while we were selling hot chocolate and, and, and whatnot, um, which I am not in. But that picture is pretty fun regardless. I hope your Halloween was awesome. I hope that you got lots of candy bars and I hope that you're now all wearing Christmas sweaters and listening to Christmas music. So what did you dress up as for Halloween? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to check worldwide videos out on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook and I will see you next week.